Hi. What we have here in this first part of this question is to show that the equation tan 2x equaling 5 sine 2x can be written in the form 1 minus 5 cos 2x all times by sine 2x and it equals 0. So if you would like to give this a try, just pause the video, come back when ready and uh, I'll run through the work solution. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So let's see how you got on. Well, first of all, I'm just going to copy down the equation that we're given. So that's tan of 2x equals 5 sine 2x. Now, what I've got to prove, OK, doesn't contain tan 2x. So that's a clue. I've got a sine 2x here, and I've got it in here. So I don't really want to do anything with this. So tan 2x, and I've got a cos 2x as well. That gives me a clue. We should be familiar with the fact that the tan of any angle, let's say theta, is identical to the sine of the angle theta divided by the cosine of angle theta. This is essentially an identity that you should be aware of. And we can use that here, theta being the 2x. So we can say that therefore this is the same as sine of 2x divided by the cosine or cos 2x. And that's equal to 5 sine 2x. Now all I need to do now is just multiply both sides by the cosine of 2x and so therefore I get sine 2x equals 5 sine 2x times the cosine of 2x. Now this is starting to look as if I'm getting this. It equals 0 so I've certainly got to remove one of the terms and I'm going to, just looking at this, I'm going to subtract this term from both sides, OK? So if we subtract this term from both sides, we're going to end up with this sine 2x minus the 5 sine 2x cos 2x. And that will now equal 0. And I can pull out a common factor here. The common factor in both this term and this term is sine of 2x. So if I pull that out, we've got sine 2x bracket, and then we've got 1 for the first term, and then here we've got minus 5 cosine of 2x. And that's going to equal 0. And you can see this is essentially what we've got here. Really, it's a bit ambiguous if I just write this as it is because it could be mistaken for sine of 2x times 1 minus 5 cos 2x. So I'm going to put that in a bracket there. And now if I put this at the rear, it's not ambiguous anymore. And that's what they've done. 1 minus 5 cos 2x multiplied by sine 2x. And that equals 0. And that's what we had to show. Alright, so I hope that's given you an idea on that one.